8327 there, as we were talking about additions in the AFC South, asked, what's the deal with Xavier Howard? The guy comes out and says he wants to take less to play in Houston. He's still a free agent. Well, not that much less. That's where I, it's being overlooked. The guy had a $75 million contract. What, you think he's going to take the minimum now? Yeah. No. He's not going to take the minimum. But he's made it so clear he wants to be a Texan. I also found it fascinating that he said he's not a lifelong Texans fan, but said he had a Texans tattoo. That seems odd. One of a few people that actually likes the logo. Well, might have to change it. No, the logo's going to stay the same. The logo is staying the same, yeah. it's uh, The uniforms are getting a little hornier. That's true, they are. Quite literally. No, not like... The, the lo- uniforms are not going to have the relations. Don't yeah, it's not, it's not baseball. They're not going to be see-through pants. Yeah, I was going to say the mesh. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally they're, the shoulders are gonna be a, a little hornier. Can't uh, wait to see that on opening day. Oh yeah, can you? You you excited to see the new uniforms? In you think action? they? You think you don't think they're gonna have it fixed by tomorrow? No. By Thursday? You think they, you know, this is baseball we're talking about? Come on. It didn't seem like a big deal. I mean, I guess the the, <laughs> the, the series. Show is reading a statement later today. This league is a bunch of. Dumbasses. I kind of hope that he just like in the statement goes, and also our pants are see through. Please fix them. <laughs> that would it's be just funny. Like, it's like just dropping it at the end. Just has a, a list of grievances. He's like, now that I know that you're listening. Yeah, here's something. the problems with baseball. <laughs> All of them. Uh, runner on second base in extra innings. Stupid. I like that one. I do too. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to watch extra innings in the regular season. Come yeah, on. my my only. I always wish it would just start in the eleventh. I wish they paid one played one more regular inning. And then added the runner on second base. I want the game to end earlier so I can go to Highway Cantina after the game. I feel like the Astros you play like... place. It's amazing, dude. I'm going there like before tonight's uh, Rockets game. They play such an inordinate amount of extra inning games against specifically the Oakland A's that I am for it. Just yeah. whatever gets me out of the Oakland A's stadium mm. fast, just... Not even, I'm Sacramento not even there. I, it's hey. just that they normally start the game at 9.30. And so it's like one o'clock and no one's scoring an extra innings. Yeah, those are, I, I do not enjoy West Coast baseball games. I, that's one of the advantages of the schedule changing a little bit was you you, had, you know you had less nights in Oakland. Yeah, I don't mind, again, I don't mind the Seattle games because those are at least competitive. Mm-hmm. It's just, I, I don't like watching a bum team <laughs> And it's staying up for it. Yeah, or they're losing, and you're watching them lose to a bum team at 1 o'clock that, in the morning. That's how I normally get sucked in, is that it's like, oh, wait, we're going to talk about them losing to the A's tomorrow, so I have to I have to stick around. It's not they're up 6 to nothing. I'm in the 4th. I'm like, cool, I'm out. All right, so, Paul, you asked this question. Uh, how many people believe Tank Dell can make it through an NFL season Without getting injured. We've because, seen a bunch of workout videos yeah. of him recently, and everyone's like, he's in the best shape of his life. And I am wondering if the many people who have been calling for the Houston Texans to bring in a wide receiver this offseason are people that just don't think Tank Dell is ever going to make it through a season healthy, but they're unwilling to say it publicly. I bet you there's a lot of that because he is a fan favorite, and there is a delicate balance, whether you're just a fan of the team or in the media that you, you don't want to dump on a guy for being a fan favorite. I think about going back to the Will Fuller conversations that we used to have. People were, for the most part, usually pretty positive about him until it got to the point where it was clear the fan base had turned on him. No one wants to be the first guy to turn on Tank Dell, but that is what I, I, I would agree with you, that there are people who don't believe in him staying healthy, and that's why... They want to add a wide receiver. There are legitimately no reasons to turn on Dell to this point, but there are reasons to wonder if that frame can last a whole season mm-hmm. entirely because of that freak accident that took place because Tank Dell was on a spot of the field that I get it. Some of the football heads out there are like, well, f- stuff happens. Yes, but I. it feels like of all the people that you would want to have towards the middle of the line of scrimmage on the goal line, the five foot nine, 10, 165 pound guy is one of the last people that you'd want around that area. It, it absolutely is. Now, I, it's not the injury concern that I have for Tank Dale that I have wanted the Texans to add a wide receiver. It's more that I don't believe in the, the sample size of Noah Brown and the other wide receivers on the roster. And it's uh, you don't need to get T. Higgins or Michael Pittman, you know, missing out on those guys this offseason or trying to trade for T. Higgins right now. I, I think would be that would be a mistake. 
adding another wide receiver in the second round with one of those two second rounders would still be valuable because don't do that. I, I don't I don't believe in Noah Brown, honestly. But why do you need him in the why do you need a second round receiver? Oh, so second or I guess third round. A lot of people seem to believe like that. That's like the number one need in the draft. It's not. Like, I, I get everyone wants to have an extra wide receiver, but Noah Brown's better than whoever they're probably going to get for year one in the second round. Probably. I would only disagree because Nick Casario has shown that whoever he takes in the second and third round is awesome. And he's mm, he, his his hit rate is. I trust Nick Casario's wide receiver evaluation at this point more than anything else. So with that, if he tells if he tells us in the draft that he's not taking a wide receiver because he likes his wide receiver room currently, then I will trust him. I, I believe in ro- I believe in the robot right now. They have said otherwise because they were talking about how they specifically want to get somebody who has the ability to get open. And I don't know if that was an indictment on Noah Brown or Robert Woods or something like that, but he has a good hit rate specifically in the third round with both Collins and Tank Dell. And you could theoretically have someone fall into your lap in the second round like you thought you were getting with John Mechie. But I I feel like there are bigger needs, and yet everyone is banging the table for another wide receiver. And I just don't understand why people seem to be ignoring the many other holes on this team. Because that's when I hear somebody bang for a big-time free agent receiver, a trade for a receiver, or to draft a receiver early. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that you don't think the other holes on this team are a more pressing concern than the weapons that C.J. Stroud has clearly found ways to make work. I, I, I tend to agree with you. Part of the issue is that the whole, the biggest holes that you and I see, they seem to disagree with us on. The Texans haven't talked to or brought in a safety this offseason. I can't believe that. They, and, they and maybe clearly, that's what they're going to be looking at, at that in the second round. Yeah, they clearly, at this point in time, are confident in the Petrie-Ward combo. And I, I, you and I don't agree with them I at all. I, I, I do yeah. not believe that you know that they are set at, at the safety position, defensive tackle. It seems on paper you would need to add a bigger body, but the amount of guys that they've brought in, keep bringing in, they're probably good there. Uh, Nick Casario said with 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 Sean and Seth that they're gonna basically give Kenyon Green another run of it, so it, that kind of knocks out interior offensive line. I'm fascinated, honestly, what the Texans are going to do in the draft because what you and I view as negatives, they seem to have no concern of addressing at this moment. I wonder if the corners that they brought in, they're looking at some of them and thinking to themselves, they have safety traits. Because that that really is the only thing that would explain both um, Jeffrey Okuda and... C.J. Henderson. uh, C.J. Henderson, yeah. Yeah. Because, okay, these, these guys were... High up draft picks. They've got to have some sort of athleticism that works. Does that athleticism translate to the safety position, especially if they're going deep? And is that easier to put in the budget than signing a Quandre Diggs or signing a Justin Simmons or some of the other guys that are still available? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I, I'm so curious. Do, is it justified at all, though, the people who might be worried about Tank Dell's injuries, kind of going back to that? Because I I don't think so. I, well, I think it is justified to wonder if a guy who is that size is going to be able to make a long NFL career happen, especially considering he had multiple issues last year before the broken leg. Yeah, I mean, the concussion was a weird play, but he was pretty healthy in college. Right. I know it's college, and it's the American Athletic Conference. He, he seems like somebody where if you hit him the right way— Another concussion is certainly possible just because of the size. And we're not talking like helmet to helmet. We're just talking he falls back hard and hits his head. And then on top of that, like the small frame thing, Mm -hmm. uh, unless the NFL is going to add some more uh, changes this coming off season to make it a little bit more safe. Yeah, it's 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 a safer league than it's ever been for receivers, but he's still one of the smaller guys in the league at yeah, that position. Yeah, maybe they actually do put belts and flags on these guys, and then Texas would be in great shape. <laughs> then all our fears about Tank Dale go away. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just the fact that just look around the league, how many 5'9", 165 wide receivers are there? We, I remember going on the Killer Bees, we tried to find a comp for him. It was literally impossible. Was it because Rondale Moore, every single and Rondale Moore, probably like one ninety. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> every player that you would come up with, 
Tank Dell was still like a little bit bigger then, and they all were terrible football players, and you never thought any of them were going to be good. So it, it's impossible to find a comp for Tank Dell. But going back to his college days, the one thing, he does a really good job of not getting hit bit. He does good. He does have some of that. I mean, which is necessary when you're when you're a smaller, you know, thinner thinner wide receiver. Is he does have some good self preservation. Uh, yeah. Not just like running out of bounds, but even like the the hits that he does take. Lamar Jackson's actually a guy who's really good at this. Where like you don't, he doesn't really get blown up very often for how much he has the ball. And Tank Dell, Tank Dell is kind of the same way. Where he, uh, yeah, maybe it's just, maybe, well. Maybe it's just he's such a small target. It's hard to it's hard, hard, it's hard, hard to hit a small target. And now you can't now you can't uh, you him, now hip you drop him. So now I don't Ant know. Ant man. Yeah, he's the Ant Man. I I hate the hip drop rule. The more I think about it, guys, the more it bothers me. What? It's gonna help keep Tank Dell healthy. <laughs> it just feels well. You don't need to hip drop tackle Tank Dell. Yeah, you just hit hit <laughs> Tank just, Dell. Just push him. <laughs> yeah, you you get good contact on Tank Dell. He's going down. You only hit again. Drop tank small Del. Co- small uh, small strike zone though. Yeah. Tank de- the hip drop is for like the Nico Collins of the planet, not wow. for the not for the tank Dell. I, I I sense a little height shaming from from size shaming from Joe in this segment. I'm allowed from to tank Dell. Oh, you you can, but I can't. I'm five six. Fair enough. It, it's just there are certain things where you can you can you know you can defend your people or attack your people. Tank Dell, Jose Altuve, those are my people. <laughs> Those are your open, people. Open season on them for yeah. you. Open but if we season. say anything. Yeah, your size shape. For me, fair game. Okay. All right. But I'll, I'll, I'll choose my words carefully next Yeah, time. like like Sean, Sean probably could have criticized us for what we just said about Trevor Lawrence's hair. He can say whatever he wants about Trevor Lawrence's hair. Because yeah. he is, you know, similar. Yeah. I, Come on, I Junior think Bronco. I'm not five four. Fair's all right. Yeah. Someone, someone said that I looked like this, like crying Aryan uh, Coog fan uh, who was at the game last night. I think it was Dr. Dre on 290, and a lot of people agreed with him. I was like, I don't see it at all. I saw that tweet, and because well, the guy's hand is covered his face. Yeah, so you can't see his face, but his frame is like. Did his face look like me? No, you, you never see his face. What, 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 what's the similarity? Like, we both have bodacious hair? It's just the hair. It's yeah, the hairstyle. Because I think he even mentioned like something about, like, did you bleach your hair and go to this game? Yeah. yeah. I thought maybe the other fan, the one with the crazy beard and the long hair. Oh, who's I thought that? maybe that was you in disguise. Didn't you tweet a photo of him today? Oh, the guy who was uh, doing the Shasta. <laughs> yeah, he was pumping it. He was yeah. sure pumping it and saying, Coogum. That guy knew exactly what he was doing. He 100%. He was doing dirty things at e- and, uh, the the Turner Sports Network, uh, whatever channel that was on, they fell hook, line, and sinker for 